Okay, I'm going to start by just trying to create a uh, create a folder here. Um, simple counter. Okay, so I've chosen that folder. Okay, test. I'm going to name everything test, I think. Empty object file. Okay. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is go out here and get a digital clock. Okay. And then I want to get a flip flop, which is a seventy four seventy six. Seventy four seventy six. I don't want to use the eval if I don't use the eval again and you can't get any simulation done. I'm gonna rotate it. And let's try to do three of them. Um Okay. Close out this part window right here. Okay, so I'm going to run the clock in to the clock of the first flip flop. And then run the output of that flip flop into the clock of the next one. and then run the clock of this one into this one. So every clock pulse, this will be the zeros, this will be the twos, and this will be the fours counter. This will be the least significant bit, this will be the most significant bit. Alright, now I need to go over here and get a high voltage so I can tie these flip-flops into toggle mode so every one of these the pre's and the j's and the k's all need to be high and the clears all need to be high so that it's not getting cleared Okay, so now I'm ready to um, go up here and edit the simulation profile. Um, we want it to look like a uh, oscilloscope, and I'm going to click apply. Um, let's see, it's going at uh, one microsecond, so let's run this thing for eight microseconds. Let's see if we can see it counting. Apply, okay and run. Okay, so I'm going to go to trace, add trace. Okay, I can see everything. Um, let's try to find the first clock. UA1 clock. Uh-oh. Now the two red bars mean um, doesn't know whether it's high or low. The software, the simulation software can't tell what's going on. So what I did is I, I didn't edit simulation file. I didn't tell it that the flip-flops were initially zero. So I wanted to count, start counting from zero. Okay. So let's try this again now. Simulation profile trace, add trace. So let's look at the clock into the first flip-flop. Now that isn't exactly the clock into the first flip flop. U one A clock. Alright, let's see if I can flip between these two. This is U one B, U two A U okay, so they're backwards. I want U one B clock. Okay, so trace, delete all traces, add a trace, U one B clock. 
Okay, now we see it going every half microsecond. Okay, and now we want to add the output of this first flip-flop, which is the Q of U and B. Q of Q1, B, right there. Okay, so it sends out a pulse every complete clock cycle. Okay, so it's going 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Yeah, okay. And then the next one we want to add is the output of the U2A Q. Trace, add trace, U2A Q here. Okay, so every one of those. All right. And then the third one is U1AQ. And trace U1AQ. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> All right, now let's run it for 16 microseconds and see if it starts over again. You know, just keep cycling over and over again. Okay, so let's go up here and edit the simulation profile and run it for 16 seconds. 16 microseconds. All right, there it starts over again. Zero, zero, zero. So this is the ones, twos, and fours. So when this is high, it's a 1, plus 0, plus 0. Now this one's high, so that's 0, and that's the 2's. So 1 times 2 is 2. Then here we have 1 plus 2 is 3. Then now the 1's is down, the 2's is down, and the 4 is high. Okay, and then here the 1's goes high, so it's 1 plus 4 is 5. Yeah, okay, so it's working.